What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another Pokemon Go news update video. Today is December 22nd, 2017, and we got a lot of news to cover today. Now, we've been getting tons of information pouring out, and that usually happens when a event is about to happen inside of Pokemon Go. And yesterday, literally, as I uploaded my video, we got the news of the event popping off yesterday and starting yesterday so again let's go over the niantic announcement and everything that poured in with this news because again it is a lot so without no further ado let's get started now the first news article i'm pulling up is from the official pokemon company pokemon.com the website they have a update on pokemon go basically announcing this brand new event and what is going to entail and right there on the header you see pikachu wearing the christmas hat or the as they call it the festive holiday hat right there right next to the pokemon go logo instant basically stating that it's going to be in pokemon go we've seen this last year so we, a lot of people were suspecting that they were just going to make a return with the pikachu and its family lines like have it in well, that you can hatch Pichu eggs and have that Pichu egg wear a Pikachu hat and evolve Pikachu into Raichu and that Raichu will also have the hat. We seen that last year. It's making a return. Everyone loves Pikachu with this hat. Like <laughs> they could throw any hat on Pikachu and I think it will people will go crazy, especially us completionists that want to complete the Pokédex, want to get every form. If you missed out last year, here is another chance to grab it. I think this is wonderful that Pikachu is making this holiday festive hat return. Now, jumping into the article, it says Pokemon Go gifts for the holidays. More awesome Pokemon as well as a few holiday gifts are on the way. Kick off the holiday season with a bunch of Pokemon and wonderful presents in Pokemon Go. More ice type and water type Pokemon that were originally discovered in the whole region have started appearing. Plus, keep an eye out for special Pikachu wearing a bright festive hat that I just went over. It looks great. Thank you for bringing Pikachu back with this hat. I love it. Um, be sure to explore in Pokemon Go each day on December 22nd, which is today, through December 25th, 2017. You will sure to receive an egg incubator after your first photo disc spin at Pokemon Go on those days. The first opportunity to get an incubator will be at 1 p.m. PST on December 22nd, which is today, which is hype. We're literally getting four free egg incubators um, each day in Pokemon Go till Christmas. I think this is wonderful. This is so dope. It is a Christmas present. We usually have to purchase egg incubators in game or reach a certain level to receive a few. Um, and I think this is a great incentive to get people to go out and play during the holidays as well as reward the people that are going to be doing so anyway. I think this is pretty cool. We got this event going on with the water and ice type Pokemon. We got Pikachu wearing the festive hat. Plus, they're giving us egg incubators. This is so cool. Like, I am really, really hyped. This is a great Christmas gift for the holidays, as they just stated. It says, check out a variety of special holiday bundles to help restock your backpack. All of these bundles include the new star piece item, which I went over yesterday. You can check that video out. Um, which increases the amount of starters earned for a limited time when used. Enjoy the holidays and ring in the new year with more Pokemon special gifts and great deals in Pokemon Go. Now, I want to go over the Pokemon Go star piece of like prices and stuff like that. Again, I'm not a huge Pokemon Go player where I jump into the store and purchase stuff with my real money. Not that I wouldn't do that, and I have done before. You know, I threw a couple of bucks in when the game launched initially, but again, I probably wouldn't be the person to recommend or to tell you which box is good to buy and stuff like that. With your money, I would hope that you guys can make all those decisions on your own. If not, there are a ton of other Pokemon Go YouTubers out there that I would recommend, like Reversal Trainer Tips, to go check out their videos on, you know, the special holiday box bundles if you want a 
holiday buyer's guide per se for Pokemon Go for this holiday season to see which box is probably right for you or which one is actually worth the investment putting the money in. Now Niantic also dropped a blog on their site PokemonGoLive.com again I'm going to have a link to the description below and basically announced yesterday that we can celebrate the holiday season with Pikachu and friends inside of Pokemon Go and drop this image the one that I'm using as my background and as you can see you can see Gen 3 Pokemon water types ice types alike that are not in Pokemon Go, well, not that wasn't in Pokemon Go yesterday, that are now in it today. And as you can see, there is a huge Pokemon in the background that I'm gonna zoom into that you might be wondering, whoa, 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 how you gonna just sneak this guy in there, huh? How they just gonna sneak this guy in there? But as you can tell, uh, I didn't put it in the title of this video. Um, and again, it is, is on the screen, but there is no word on Kyogre, the legendary Pokemon being in Pokemon Go at raids or at gyms or whatever. Um, and when that news does break, best believe I will cover it. But as it goes as of right now on December 22nd, 2017, there is no news of Kyogre actually being in game. And with this image, all we can do is speculate, but also kind of confirm that, yeah, Kyogre duh, is going to be the next um, Poke legendary Pokemon to be coming in Pokemon Go. And this confirms that, but again, no word from Niantic that blatantly states that. Um, but also, it's kind of a no-brainer because we got Kyogre, you know, and now they have this water ice event, Kyogre being a water Pokemon, you would think that they would have Kyogre out during this event. Again, no news on that, but maybe they're cap off this year with Kyogre with the ending of this event, or maybe in the middle of this event, we get Kyogre raids. Who knows, once that news breaks, I will be covering it here on the channel for you guys. Now, they do overlap some stuff which the Pokemon company just released and I went over, but let's go over it through thoroughly just to show you guys um, the, the news that PokemonGoLive.com is bringing. It says, trainers, the holiday season is here and we have a celebration that will inspire you to go out and exploring in your neighborhoods with friends and family. Starting today at 1 p.m. PST, a familiar festive Pikachu is back and bringing a few Forest Leaf friends alongside for the fun. In addition to more ice type Pokemon appearing around the world, additional water types and ice types originally discovered in the Horror region and the Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Sapphire video games will also be appearing in Pokemon Go for the first time. As a special bonus, the first Pokemon stop you visit each day between December 22nd at 1 p.m. PST and December 25th at 1 p.m. PST will award you with a single use egg incubator with your first photo this spin. So make sure to check in each day to collect an egg incubator. Don't miss out on your chance to stock up for your holidays adventures with special boxes from the in game shop featuring the best deals of the year from December 21st through December 25th at 1 p.m. PST special boxes will feature items such as the super incubator lore monocles and the all new star peaches um, pieces excuse me which earns bonuses uh, stardust for 30 minutes when active for December 25th at 1 p.m. PST through January 4th 2018 so keep an eye out on the end game shop for these special boxes featuring items such as a premier raid passes super super incubators excuse me and star pieces they wrap it up by saying we can't wait to see you out with your family and friends this holiday season as you're outside exploring the world be sure to share your favorite ar photos and best catches using pokemon go on your preferred social media channels the pokemon go team again 
nothing new, kind of the same thing that we got from the official Pokemon company on their website. Now, the next news story is coming from PokemonGoHub.net. So I'm gonna have a link in the description below. And they actually have a couple of news stories that I wanna go over today. One being about gender evolutions coming in generation four that you can actually prepare for today. It says the addition of gen three Pokemon to your Pokemon Go has brought a few fan favorites to the floor. One, including rats, raditz, one of my favorite Pokemon in Generation 3, um, I believe your um, rival Wally in the game, or Wally, or whatever the case may be, he catches that Pokemon, you help him catch that Pokemon. I remember seeing him catch that Pokemon, and I was like, oh, I'm going to use that Pokemon against him to kick his ass throughout the game, and that's what I did, and uh, I was happily to see that, you know, that Pokemon evolve into, I forget the second, um, um, of all form is, is Kara, I believe, and then it evolves into Gravador, Gravelor, or whatever. Um, and to me, that was a badass evolution lot in, in Pokemon a Generation 3 in those original um, Ruby and Sapphire days. And, but however, there is still one Pokemon missing, and that is Gladiator, Gladiator, or whatever, the male counterpart of the third evolution of rats, whatever. And then it says when generation four was released, Kara received a split revolution based on a few different factors to put a twist on that family line. So multiple Pokemon have gender based evolutions in gen four. So you might want to start stocking up on Pokemon like Raditz or a male Pokemon like Raditz in order to evolve them very easy and very early on in generation four when generation four rolls out. Now, Gallade, or however you say that name, in Generation 4 and beyond, a player can obtain a strong psychic fighting type Pokemon and by evolving a male Kerlar, I'm probably saying that wrong, with a Dawn Stone. Gallade is expected to be a good Pokemon in the meta once the, the, it's actually released inside of Pokemon Go. And so you might want to, again, farm and try to catch a high level IV male rat and save it for Gen 4 when we do get this brand new evolution of it. Now, gender in evolutionary items required for Gladion. Evolutionary items in stones are already a thing in Pokemon Go as seen with Blossom evolving with 100 candies and the use of a Sunstone. It can be assumed that with the release of Generation 4, Niantic will add the Dawnstone and most likely add a gender evolution as well. The evolution requirement for Kyra or whatever to involve into the lady with these speculations will be Kara being male, which should not be too difficult because the gender split for this family is 50, 50, 100 Raditz candy and a Dawn Stone. It's hard to imagine Pokemon Go leaving out the need for genders to evolve because Gladion is not the only Pokemon to evolve with certain gender specifics, especially not in Generation 4. Other Pokemon that are new evolutions with gender in the next generation or just evolve with a gender are Snout, Bunny, and Company which I'm probably saying 100% wrong, roast me in the comments. Also in the news, Niantic is canceling EX raids scheduled for Christmas that take place in closed shopping malls. This is an email we received a few hours ago by one of our readers. Hello, Pokemon Go Hub team. It seems like Niantic has removed the EX invitations at 25 12 that's the 25th of december for some shopping malls i can say for sure the invite for this mall in germany was removed today mine is gone and the invitation for some others i seen today is also gone we didn't get any information from niantic so far but maybe this is worth news we can't confirm the following has happened. If you got an EX invite 
for a raid scheduled on the 25th of December. And if that raid is happening in a venue that is closed for Christmas, your EX raid invite will be canceled. Curiously enough, we tweeted out axing our Twitter community for additional reports. So far, only a handful of readers have tweeted back with the confirmation, which could indicate that the cancellations, excuse me, will only be applied for shopping malls where the gym can't be reached from outside of the building. But we could be wrong and it is too early to determine. Here's a tweet showing that Pokemon Go Hub has tweeted. It says, we are receiving reports on Niantic is canceling EX raid invites for the raid that is happening inside a closed mall on December 25th. Did you get an invite canceled? One person replied, mine was scheduled for the 25th in a closed mall and it was just canceled. I got one or two premium raid passes. Not sure how many I had before it was canceled. That's why he said one or two. And again, they're doing their job as delivering us a reward for canceling the raid, the EX raids for the people who got them anyway. I'm not one of those people who got them. So again, I can't confirm or deny what's going on. Also in the news from Pokemon Go Hub, they've been banging it. They always give us the news to, um, as far as Pokemon Go is concerned. Again, the official link in the description below. Now Niantic officially announces a massive wave of new Pokestops and gyms is coming soon to Pokemon Go. Now, trainers, Niantic just announced that a lot of new gameplay locations that were reviewed via the Operations Portal Recon program inside of Ingress only will be soon added into Pokemon Go. Now, here is the tweet from Niantic's official Twitter. It says, with the help of Ingress agents around the world, I have no idea what that means, Operation Puerto Recon, we identified interesting new locations to play our games. We're happy to say that many of these locations will also be added to the Pokemon Go app over the next few days. Now, Pokemon Go Hub responded by saying, we are very excited for the next few days as this could be the start of an ongoing effort to create better and more balanced gameplay environments for ritual and urban players alike. The OPR was already a major drawing force behind recent Pokestop Poke changes bringing new Pokestops and changing old ones, but Niantic has never officially acknowledged the concerns before. As part of the OPR, Ingress agents have reviewed literally hundreds and thousands of portal candidates updated by a metric ton of existing portals and resulted, resolved a number of outstanding issues such as inaccessible or military-only locations. We've received over 4,000 emails over the past 12 months that are either complaints or suggest about the state of the ritual gameplay. Unfortunately, we only can do much as Pokemon Hub or any other media outlet doesn't have say or influence over Niantic strategies and design decisions. However, we strongly believe that our complaints have been heard this is the first time that Niantic has publicly on social media announced with a plan, with a timeline to add more Pokemon stops. To all Ingress players reading this, thank you. Without your commitment and efforts, there would be no Pokemon Go. We can hope that Ingress 2.0 will fulfill your wishes and expectations. And I gotta say thank you as well. Um, I, I do wanna say thank you to you guys that are playing Ingress and you know, that because that does help Pokemon Go grow. Now I am not an Ingress player at all. I have no idea what you do in that game. I, I'm pretty sure that it's kind of similar to Pokemon Go and that they're using the same data to cross match and stuff like that. Um, but again, hats off to you guys that do play that game and that do help out Pokemon Go to grow and to add Pokemon Poke Go stops and stuff like that. And I do think it's great that Niantic is taking the initiative to add Pokemon Go stops and stuff like that and continue to make this game grow 
to a level that it's never seen before because again there are tons of poke go stops around the world there's probably over a billion the fact that they don't well they don't have to micromanage all of them but they need to make sure that uh, some of them are accessible to a ton of pokemon go players and you can understand why having one in you know an area that is only military personnel only is not the safest thing to do as well as the smartest thing to do even though there's probably a couple of military personnel people on site playing pokemon go i wouldn't put it past that as well but again they should probably be playing pokemon go while they're on site in the military base as i reported yesterday delbird is officially inside of pokemon go here is my gameplay footage of me actually catching one and adding it to my pokedex i was pretty hyped um i found this actually at the studio which was cool while recording this episode again i am 100 excited for this pokemon go water ice event as well as the inclusion of Delbird and a special hat Pikachu being found in the wild. So let me know your stories about what you have been caught. And I also want to go through a lot of funny AR plus camera footage that I've been seeing on Twitter. Let's go over a few of them because they are hilarious. Now, the first Pokemon Go AR funny video that I want to show, I'm going to have all Twitter links in the description below, is this one right here of this guy seeing, what's his Pokemon name, Zig, Zigzagoon, and it's literally that he, he found it in grass inside of his home, or she found it in grass inside of his home, her home, and it literally is outside, <laughs> and it's so funny, it looks like it's literally waiting on the balcony or the porch, um, and it, it's hilarious, this is so dope, and actually, what I would have thought that, again, what Pokemon Go was aiming to do when they added this mode, and what we've seen, stuff like this in the trailers as far as Pokemon Go using the AR stuff. I think this is amazing and hilarious at the same time. To go even a step further to make it even more hilarious, this is another person, again, Twitter in the comment in, in the description below, and another Zigzagoon or whatever this Pokemon name is, and he's actually creeping up on him, and then boom! His dog literally pops in the frame trying to figure out what is he doing exactly. And it's too, it's too funny. It's literally way too funny. The dog looks like he's smelling or trying to see what's going on while the owner is pointing his or her phone at this wild encounter. And it's hilarious. It's cute, funny, and hilarious. He also takes a picture. I, I, I literally can't wait to get my hands on AR plus mode and see if I can create any funny videos like this because this is cute and funny this this one is a good one now this one I'm gonna have with a don't try this at home warning label on it because again here's a user playing Pokemon go in the middle of the street to get this Pokemon but not only to get this Pokemon to get a basically good picture of it but I wanted to show you guys this as well as the Pokemon uh, the person playing is actually he gets the Pokemon so spooked it runs away but also he was trying to get a side view of it as well and I'm not sure or confirming or denying that you probably can't get behind certain Pokemon or d depending on how that is but he was trying or she was trying rather and it clearly turned to the angle to make sure it was front facing with the pokemon and as you can see a car go by don't play pokemon go in the street kids please don't the last thing we need is to hear accidents about people playing pokemon go in the streets and basically stating that you was trying to get a good ar plus photo please it's not worth your life not worth getting hurt <laughs> or for a good photo so please do not try this at home but i think this we could take away from this um, video clip to to kind of confirm that but I, i'm not too sure because this person did spook it away when it did go that close or move to the side so who knows if you do know let me know in the comment section below or tweet at me at daddy gamer fred with a video now that is gonna be it guys for today's video let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about everything we went over and it was a lot everything from this brand new water and ice event going on in pokemon go the special pikachu festive hat out in the wild you can hatch pichu eggs you can evolve pikachu into raichu 
um, all of the special boxes that we can purchase inside the store, Stardust being added to the, not Stardust, Star Pieces, excuse me, being added to the game. This AR Plus feature, has you been using it? Have you been using it? And if so, let me know your thoughts on it. And the elephant in the room right there in the background, Kyogre. Let me know your thoughts and predictions on when we're going to get Kyogre in the game. So let me know all that in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter. You can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of these Pokemon Go news update videos. The best place to catch them all is with a subscription. Excuse me. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as Gordon Channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next Pokemon Go news update video. And let's all be good to each other and enjoy Pokemon.